Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you the makeup products I have picked up over the last month, six weeks maybe. Um, I tend to do a lot of shopping post Christmas and in January just because of the sales and because of my birthday uh, there tends to be a lot of stuff going on. So I have got actually quite a lot more stuff than I realised I had because what I've been doing is I've been buying stuff and I've been lobbing it in a like in a box going I'll fill my haul with that not actually using anything and not really paying that much attention to how much stuff there is. There's a shit ton of stuff here, uh, which I'm going to show you now. So if you don't like hauls, this video is not for you, but I mean, it did say it in the title. What do you want? So I'm going to start. Is that it? Is that all of them? No. Well, ish. Right. So I've got one more of these coming, but I'm going to start here. These are the Real Techniques Brush Crush brushes. So these are the ones with the sparkly handles. So I've got the 305 Shadow, the 302 Blush, and the 300 Powder. I don't know what the number is of the other one I'm waiting for, but I'm waiting for the complexion, like buffing type brush. There is also a fan brush and a sponge, I think, but I'm, oh, and a contour brush, but I'm not gonna bother with those just because I have fan brushes, I don't use them that often, and I don't contour, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, also from Real Techniques, I picked this guy up in the sale. This is the Bold Metals Collection Eyes and Lips Set. So in there, there is an oval shadow brush, a pointed lip brush, a tapered shadow brush, and a brush cup. This should have been £30. Uh, it was 70% off, I think. So it was about nine quid in the end, is that right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that'd be right. Nine pound in the end. Uh, that was a good deal. Couldn't couldn't really pass that up. I also got a couple of these teeny tiny um, Real Techniques brushes. So I've got a mini medium sculpting brush, which came out of Boots, and that's teeny, and a mini multitask brush, also teeny, uh, which I thought would be good for just chucking in makeup bag in my handbag or leaving in my desk at work or something like that. Just mini sizes with full size brush heads. Also, from Real Techniques, this was a steal. This was an out and out bargain. Uh, this is the Illuminate and Accentuate, really incredibly shiny, don't know how to show it to you without blinding you, Real Techniques kit. Uh, the brushes are like, kind of an ombre from purple to orange. And it is, what is that, one, two, three, four, five brushes and two sponges. And I got this out of Superjug in their sale for a tenner. Uh, you can't beat that, frankly, because some of these other brushes, like these brushes, are all 10 quid-ish, 12, 13 pounds each. So to get five for 9.99, obviously that was like, that was sale price, but still, five for 9.99, five brushes and two sponges for 9.99 was a bargain. I had to have it. I also have this guy here. This is the Spectrum A04. Uh, I don't really know, or I don't really remember what the purpose of this brush is. I know why I bought it. I bought it because I ordered some things from ASOS and I needed to get the order over a certain value to get free shipping and so I bought another brush. These Spectrum brushes are really nice. I've had a couple of these in um, beauty boxes here and there and they're actually really nice quality so it wasn't like a hardship to have to buy another one and so I went with, I guess it's like a cheap brush maybe. I could look it up, but I'm not gonna. And now I guess on to all of the makeup, which is a bit mental. Actually, let's do this. I did a skincare haul, and the whole way through the skincare and it was like skin and hair care haul, I felt like I was missing something. Like I felt like there was something I'd got that I hadn't included, and it was this. This was a set from Glam Glow, uh, which is the Gift Sexy Super Glow set, which I think Boots had on offer throughout or at some point in December for half price. Uh, so this has a, a super mud clearing, a thirsty mud hydrating, the makeup setting spray and the illuminating moisturiser. And it was actually the makeup setting spray I was most interested in trying from that collection. So I grabbed that while it was on, while it was on offer. I don't remember how much it was. 20 quid maybe, something like that. Uh, let's see, what do we do next? I think I filmed a haul before Christmas and didn't upload it. If I did, then these two next next two items are going to be duplication. But um, 
have I got some paper here somewhere that I can use to, yeah, let's use you. I picked up the Urban Decay, uh, is it Heavy Metals, is that what this guy's called? I don't remember what this guy's called, I think it's the Heavy Metals palette, it's the purple shiny one, that purple shiny one, that has, wow, that has a mirror in the middle which makes it a bloody nightmare to show you, it's this guy. Excuse the Kiehl's Christmas cardboard in the middle, but it's the one with like the metallic nudes and the metallic, oh my god, why can I not coordinate this? Metallic brights at the top. Pick that up uh, just because I am a huge Urban Decay junkie. Love their shadows and their products in general, and so I got that before Christmas when there was some sort of offer on and I got 20% off or something. At the same sort of time, oh, it wasn't. I got it for free because I paid with my Debenhams points, that was why I got that one. I also got this guy for free. This is the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure Palette. Another one with massive ginormous mirror of reflection hell. Ugh. Let's do that. So this is a, a really neutral palette. Uh, excuse the Hotel Chocolat catalogue to uh, cover the mirror. But really beautiful, really wearable everyday shadows. The Ready formula is gorgeous. One of my favourite eyeshadow formulas out there, uh, really creamy, re really pigmented, and I got this with boots points, so I also didn't pay for that either, which is a win. Uh, we'll stick to eyeshadow while I'm on that path. I got this in a little set from QVC, let's do the whole set. So I picked up these guys from QVC uh, this past week, actually. I thought I was done with my shopping, and then I saw this and decided I was going to have it. So this is the Evening Glow Eyeshadow Palette which I believe was part of the Christmas uh, collection. So, little black palette with uh, like maroon leather, pleather, whatever you want to call it. And then inside a brush that automatically fell out. And six, no, five, just really good wearable everyday shadows. The Bobbi Brown shadow formula is different to a lot of other formulas in that it doesn't buff on terribly well but it packs on very well and so I got this because I actually thought about leaving this in my drawer at work just so I'd always got some sort of makeup there in the event that I need it. Um, sometimes I go in with no makeup on and sometimes you get meetings sprung on you where actually it would probably be better if you did have a bit of a face on and so I thought I might leave that in the drawer. That kit also came with a uh, smoky eye mascara, and I think this is a full size. That's in black. Let's crack this open. I've never tried a Bobbi Brown mascara before, so this will be interesting. So that's the smoky eye mascara. And also one of the Art Stick liquid lips. So I've got one of the Art Stick actual pencils, uh, I think in the shade Bear, and it's gorgeous. This is like, it's, it's squidgy. I don't know if you can see that. And this is in the shade English Rose. All three of those things were, I believe it was £35 plus postage. These are 21 on their own and this is 22 so that's already more than the value of everything I got. So it just seemed like a good deal, so I got it. Uh, let's go another eyeshadow palette. This is the Mark, I went to the uh, Mark Jacobs counter in Harrods. I don't often go to Harrods, uh, but I went. And this I picked up at the Marc Jacobs counter there. I picked up a couple of things. One I can't actually place right now, which is one of those new lip crayon things. Uh, not really sure what I've done with it. It's around somewhere, but I don't know where. But I picked up this guy, which is the... Give me a name box. Really? No name anywhere? Glambition. So this is the Glambition 7 pan. Uh... Iconic eyeshadow palette, that's what they're called. So this is like the most, it's the most kind of everyday wearable for most people. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Lolita palette that used to be around before. Uh, I have worn this, it's very nice. Uh, they're lovely quality shadows and I could very easily see myself buying some more of the shadows from that range, so very nice. I also got the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara because the girl on the counter upsold me, she said it was their best selling product and so I decided I would have it. Uh, also, speaking of mascara, I picked up this little kit from Girl Out, that's very shiny so let's take that out of the plastic. Really? Come on, out of the plastic? 
Maybe I can't take it out of the plastic. Maybe I have been foiled. No, there we go. So, this is the, wow, let's see how good my French is. This is the Sea d'Enfer uh, Intense Look Set. So, uh, Maxi Lash Mascara and Your Gift, which is a free pencil. So, I haven't got a lot, I haven't tried a lot from Girl Uh It's a like it always looks like a really pretty range but I've never really used a lot just because it's not a counter anywhere nearby so I got that for a song from it was from Essential I think Essential.com and they had an offer on it and so I decided I would have it uh, let's see sticking to eyes I picked this up from Feel Unique on a bit of a whim this is the Longcomb Monsieur Big Brow Crayon so it's a big chunky eyebrow crayon Looks like that. It's got a little brush on the end, and then, oh, and then I can't open it. Then uh, it's a brow crayon. I have been using. I've just finished up a Mac lingering brow pencil, which I'd forgotten all about. And actually, I really love, but uh, I decided I would give something else a go. So I got this, and we'll see. It was on offer. It was nine pound instead of sixteen. So I don't know whether that's because it's being discontinued or whether it was just they were running a promo because. I think that Monsieur Big Line's quite new. I know the mascara is quite new. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I have got, what else have I got here? I was going to try and keep this in some sort of sensible order and I'm not really doing very well. Uh, let's go with, ooh, with a MAC product. This is the Fix Plus in the coconut scent. I've never had the coconut one. When they released all of these limited edition scents before, I had the lavender one I think, but I'd never had the coconut so I grabbed one of those. At the same time as purchasing this guy. This was bought off the back of a birthday gift from a friend of mine. She got me included with the gift was a mini one of these. This is the Kat Von D uh, Everlasting Liquid Lip in the shade k -Dub. And it's this amazing, like, neon purpley pink colour, which I have worn quite a few times, which basically I wore the mini a lot, and then I just decided, well, I'm going to get the full size, because I love that colour. Such a good colour. So that was from Debenhams. Then, this is going to be shiny, but I'd had my eye on this particular thing for a really long time, and I just had to wait, wait it out for the sales. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. And this is, I don't know whether it will show on camera particularly well, but it's white with like a pink shimmer through it. Uh, and I don't know whether I can, oh I can. I can swatch it. Let's do that, like a real YouTuber. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, in the light in this room as well, it looks, you see the pink really, really shine out. I'm not sure it's going to show up on, no, it isn't. It's just going to look white, but there's like a really beautiful, like pink shift through it. In reality, when am I going to wear a highlighter that's got a pink shift through it? I don't know, but it was on offer and I wanted it. So I got it. Simple as. Uh, my hair is doing crazy things. Um, let's see, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five things left. Six things with this. I got this off of Selfridges. This is one of the Urban Decay, uh, they do these little kits every now and then. This is the ultimate pair and it's a lip liner and a lipstick in it that came in a kit. Uh, and what it is, is the lip liner in Rush, which is a really nice kind of wearable pinky shade. And then a lipstick in Backtalk, which is a comfort matte. And it's a good pair, and that is like the perfect, there we go, perfect everyday, uh, where am I? There. Everyday lip colour for me is the kind of thing I would wear to the office, or I would just wear in general. And it was, I think it was about £16 for the two. It, it was certainly not terribly expensive. Um, there are some really good, like, if you keep an eye out, obviously it's a bit late now, but next year, if you keep an eye out in the sales, a lot of brands tend to do really good value kits, and so that's definitely worth a look. Speaking of, this is a little kit from Buxom. It had a name. This is the Plump, Pucker and Prowl Plumping Six Piece Mini Lip Collection. So in here you have got three mini plump line 
plump line. <clears throat> yeah, plump line, lip liners. And three of the mini lip creams, and they're kind of in corresponding pairs. The full sizes of those plump line lip liners have now released over here. I uh, haven't even tried these yet, haven't cracked this yet, but it seemed like a nice way to try the liners and have a few more. I have a bunch of these uh, buxom lip creams, lip glosses littered around that I've got in kits over time and now that it's widely available here I decided that I would pick that up. I got that in the sale as well, I'd looked at it before Christmas full price didn't get it, decided I would just, I didn't really need it, I had enough, and then it went to like £17 in the sale, and so mine. Mine, mine. This brings me to uh, my last three products, all lipsticks. This first one is the Smashbox, what do we call this, always on metallic matte, beautiful shiny lid, in the shade So Jelly. This is gorgeous so gorgeous, love this colour, um, haven't actually worn this out yet, I've swatched it, but it is, where am I, where are we, finger, there, it is the bright pink massive splodge just there, absolutely gorgeous colour, uh, I've got, I feel like I've got another one of those that wears incredibly well, um, not too heavy or drying or anything, so I figured that I'd give one of the metallic ones a try. I was going to get one of the red ones, but I'd gone through such a phase before Christmas of buying red lipsticks that I decided that maybe I'd just get something different for now, because I have a ton of reds. And actually, these last two lipsticks I'm going to show you are both reds. Uh, one was a Christmas gift and one I bought myself. So the Christmas gift was this guy from the MAC Holiday Collection, which I do not remember the name of now. But this was Rouge on Snow, which was the red that sold out seem to sell out super quickly and that's so pretty so it's like a good a good red that I'm very excited about and the packaging on this is just so gorgeous like gold sparkly beautifulness and then I also picked up the uh, this is Patrick Wu from the Mac Patrick Star collection and that's some more so one's Rouge and Snow, which was, where are we, Rouge and Snow, which is that one there, is a little bit more blue based and this is certainly more yellow based red. Uh, that's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So I grabbed that while it was still around. I think it probably is still around, but I know that guy sold out really quickly. And that, that's it. That's all the makeup I got. So there's another video with skincare and hair care and there is the third video which will be accessories and whatnot. Uh, just not quite that far yet so yeah it's been a bit crazy and I'll probably I'm not going to go on a no buy because that would be nonsense and I would be lying to myself as much as you guys if I said I was going to go on a no buy but uh, I'll probably scale it back a bit it tends to be the winter collections that come out that I'm more interested in rather than the spring summer just because I don't do a huge amount of bronzing tanning type stuff and so the winter colours seem better for me because I'm always so pale so it'll probably be a bit quiet not I'm not gonna not buy anything because well this is me but it certainly won't be at this volume uh, in the next couple of months I wouldn't have thought so yeah if you have any thoughts or questions or anything on any of the stuff that I've bought, please leave them in the comments below. It would be nice to hear from you. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video, which won't actually be that far away because I'm, I'm filming them all right now. So, yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.